Hello, Facebook. Just ignore me. I was just bum 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 How are we? I'm asking how you so are, and it's still saying going live. I don't even know if I'm live yet. I love to just wait on a comment to put, oh, I am, I've got some people here. Ah, there was me, bum, 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 and I waited myself, thinking I was sitting here on my Jackie Jones, and I'm not. I've got peoples. I've got peoples here. I've got Jade. Hello, Jade. I've got a Kerry. Hello, Kerry. Oh, I've got loads and loads of people coming in now. Welcome, 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 welcome. How the heck are you all doing? How are you all doing? Are you all good? I hope you're all good. Because if you're no good, that's no good. You know, we need you all to be good. Yes. So good afternoon. I was about to say good evening, but no, it's not. It's afternoon. How are you all Doing. Now, I'm sitting looking at my screen here. Hold on till I manage to do something where I could actually see your comments. Um, oh, that's a bit better. I could see what's going on now. Well, I thought it was going to be a bit of crazy mad there. Um, but no, I'm not. I'm all sorted. I'm back. Let's get that button pushed. Deary me, see one of these days I'm going to come on and I'm going to be like the most organised person on the planet, you know. Um, but at this moment in time, that organisation is not happening. Definitely not. So who have we got? Jeanette Jenkins, Curry Night. Mmm, Curry Night. It is Curry Night, you know me. It's a Tuesday. you got to have a curry on a Tuesday. I mean, if you can't have a curry on a Tuesday, where else can you have a curry? That's what I say. That's what I say. I do, I do, I do. Carol Avery, afternoon. We're done, thanks. WBU, John. What about you? What about you, WBU? I'm getting good at this lingo. I'm getting good at this lingo. I'm really, really bad, but, you know, I'm, I mean, it wasn't that long ago. We're still asking people what LOL stood for. Um, I'm very good, thank you. I'm very, very good. This might be fine. Afternoon. It's an afternoon, definitely. Um, what else have we got going on? Um, Tomoko J. Duncan, River City Night. Oh, God. I couldn't think of anything worse than to sit and watch that gash on the TV. Oh, no, no, no. You're better off just being here watching me. Put me on the big screen. Simples. Yippee, yippee, yippee. Um, Jessica Rett Era, I think. Retteria. Don't know how you pronounce that, but you've put, Hi, I'm new. Welcome, my little newbie. It's good to have you here. Lynn Greggy, I'm making curried meatballs. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Deary me. Um, I, I don't know. Curried meatballs? I mean, meatballs and a nice tomato sauce. Yeah, but curried meatballs. Never tried it. I'm sure it will be fine. I'm sure it will be. Um... Carrie, Paul and John, how much do you charge for readings? You can get all the prices on my website, sweetheart, or on my app. Um, if you want to book a reading with me, johnspratt.co.uk, go to the About John page, click on Schedule an Appointment with John, and you will get all the prices. Um, Kelly Barclay, I'm making pasta. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Pass your pasta. Pass your pasta. Yes, I love it. I love a bit of pasta, me. I love a bit of pasta. Um, Becky, how's your neck, love? I mean, look at this. The neck can't move. There's still a wee twinge in it, but I could start to move again. Thank, thank, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I could feel the neck again. Yes, that was a bit of a, um, to put it bluntly, pain in the absolute archie pops. That's all I'm going to say pain in the archery pops but yeah no I'm feeling much better thank you thank you for asking um, Jessica what chances do I have for a reading you've got about as much chance as everybody else that's here sweetheart I mean the odds are, are in your favour um, definitely Jeanette Jenkins I'm having pork chops oh I love a pork chop mm, I love a good pork chop Love it, love it, love it. Paula Maver, now you're live. I've no time to make dinner, so take away it is. Yes! Everybody, we should start Takeaway Tuesday. And you know what we should do? I should just go live when my curry arrives. You know, I'll say, right, I'm ordering my curry. Then all yous could order your curry at the same time. And we could have, like, a dinner party. 
How about that? Well, we'll do that one Tuesday. We'll have a dinner party on on Facebook Live. Um, we'll even bring some of you in on the live. You know, we can invite some of you to go live and we'll watch you dripping your curry or doing your chins and we'll just see what sort of a mess we could get into. <gasps> oh, Diane Lermont have made homemade soup. You're a girl after my own heart. I love a bit of homemade soup. Carol Forshaw is having spag ball. I'm the messiest bugger when it comes to spag ball. I'm telling you, um, it gets everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. There is there is no no reasoning with me when it comes to spag ball. It's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. It's a nightmare. A pain in the neck. Craziness. Um... No good curry takeaways here. Oh, Donna McTaggart, just pay the extra and get it from somewhere else. Get it from somewhere good. Come on, it's takeaway. Takeaway, 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 get a takeaway. Yes. Oh, there we go. I'm no having tea, I'm having cider. Well, <laughs> if that's how you feel, who am I to complain? Pamela Roger, you're scratch to win. I do every day. Um, still haven't won. Oh, sweetheart, keep trying, keep trying, don't give up. You know, um, I had a message today from someone because a winner, somebody who won a day on the scratch to win, um, and they're like, been doing this every day, was ready to give up, and I won. Um, so there you go. It could be any day. It's just total luck of the draw when it comes to scratch and win. Um, but there's all there's winners every day on it. Winners every, every day. So it's fab, it's fab. Um, so, loads of people saying, are you doing readings? Yes, I will be doing readings. We'll be doing some live mini readings in just a wee momento. A wee, wee momento. CJ, still waiting for my text back. CJ, when did you text? When did you text? I'm going to have a wee look at my platform right this second for you. And I'm going to tell you if or not it's there or not. Um, CJ, there is only three techs in the queue and they've only been there for the last seven minutes. Seven minutes they've only been waiting for. Um, so if you haven't got your text, it's probably your network has blocked it. Um, but you can get that fixed. Just give them a four and ask them to remove the block uh, on premium rate techs. Or you've not got enough credit in your mobile phone if you're on page you go. But yes, there we go. See that? I can even sort your problems whilst I'm live. I'm multitasking. I'm multitask, multitasking. 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 Yes, I am. I do like a good multitask. I do, I do, I do. Um, so I'm getting some private messages floating on my screen. Um, unfortunately, folks, I can't read them whilst I'm live. I'm extremely sorry. If I did that, the live would cut off. I mean, that would just be absolutely ridiculous, wouldn't it? Um, Samantha Rowe, I haven't been on in a while. What do I scratch to win? You can scratch anything you like, love. I'm only joking. Scratch to win is on my app. Every day you get a new card um, on my app. So download it, it's free. And every day you can go on and you scratch and you could possibly win. And if you didn't win, well, scratching's good. It's good to get a wee scratch every now and then. <coughs> Never a wee scratchy scratch. Um, where are we? Jeanette Holland, you make me smile. Do you know what? All yous make me smile because I sometimes wonder who the mad one is. You know, is it me? Is it you? Or is it just all of us? You know, I, I just don't know. I don't know. Um, Dairy Day Kirsten Beller, do I or don't I? Do I or don't I? Now that is the question. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I take it you're asking for a psychic question. I'll be opening up and doing your messages very, very soon. Um, so stay exactly with me. Um, Caroline Stewart, I'm writing Nehmer. Never get anything. I'm invisible. It's the, well, I don't know why I read that out. Because you'll not be here. Because you've just said you're going away. That never makes sense to me. Never makes sense to me when people put... Um, you know, they put, oh, I must be invisible, blah, blah, blah. You never pick me. You never do me. I'm like, oh, well, why did you need to comment? I just don't know. It's, it doesn't make sense. So, folks, it's as simple as this. I never, ever go over or ignore anybody, okay? Um, as you can imagine, the comments on the screen, they're just constantly rolling, and I only see a few of them at a time, okay? Now, if I'm chatting... 
bear with me here. I'm a man, all right? Multitasking does not come easy to us, all right? For you women out there, you're probably thinking, John, multitask, just go for it. Okay, um, but us men, we're not very good at it. Now, see, when I'm working and I'm connecting into the spirit world, so I've got them speaking to me, I'm listening to them, I'm speaking to you, I'm trying to read comments at the same time, it goes all to kapot. Um, so there's times I'm not 100% focused on the comments, but I do try. That's why I always take this first five, ten minutes in my life to speak to you all before I go on to the readings so that I can acknowledge as many of you as I possibly Gun. Yes, 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 yes. Be patient. Have a little patience. Yeah. I'm in a right singing mood today. Loads of people are saying, John, I just absolutely love your energy. You are as mad as a hatter. I should have been at that tea party, I'm telling you. Um, this is me, folks. This is me all the time. Ask Erin. 24-7. I'm just... What you see is what you get. And as many of you know, I've come on here and I've ranted and I swear and I do whatever. Um... People seem to have this perceived thing that when you're a medium, you should be all love, light and whatever else. Um, that's not me. I don't walk around all day passing love and light. I mean, there's certain, you know, and I should because I'm a spiritual medium, you know, but I do try my best. But there's times people just grind on your nerves, isn't it? And I mean, sending them love and light is the last thing you want to do. For they kind of people, I'm like, I'll send you love and light in the form of a fart. You know, um, but yeah, this is just me, just normal me, normal me, um, imaging me, Jesus, I can't even keep up with the comments, so you're doing better than me, kaboom, well, I'm glad, I'm glad, you know what, it's just, it's crazy the way the comments go, and this is it quiet, you know, we're only at 142 people, this is it quiet, folks, can you imagine when I'm at my normal pace and we're in the 500s and you've got 500 people all commenting at the same time, what? John's like, ah, um, ends up going through the blinking roof. He does, he does, he does, he does, he does. Um, what else have we got going on here? Oh, hello, Karen Edwards. Karen Edwards. Ah, uh, pizza, ah, uh, pizza, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut. I don't know why, I don't know why I sung that. I know Karen Edwards, um, and that's a wee song we always sing to each other. I don't even know if that's a real song. Is it a real song? Who knows? Anyway, um, she put a post on her Facebook the other day saying, comment with your name and I'll tell you something that, um, how I know you and blah, 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 um, and a memory, and all she put is not even going there. Pizza Hut, Pizza Hut, and whatever, KFC, turkey fried chicken, whatever it goes like, you know. You know the song, surely you do. Surely you know it. Kimberly Miller, I'm a spiritual large lover whiskey. Oh. You're a woman after my own heart. I'm fishing you in. I'm reeling you in. Come to me. Come to me. Um, is it no like a mini, mini, mini and a Ford Escort, a, f a Ferrari, a Ferrari? I don't even know. People, if you know this song, you need to video yourself singing it. I can't even remember it. Okay? If you know this song, video yourself singing it. Post it on my page. You know what? And I'll even give away a reading to some of you that do it. Yeah, well, I'll give away private reading to some of you that do it. Um, but I can't even remember all the words, is it? A uh, Ford Escort, a uh, Ford Escort, a uh, Mini, Mini, Mini and a Ford Escort. Ferrari, Ferrari, a uh, Mini, Mini, Mini and a Ford Escort. A uh, Barbie doll, a uh, Barbie, I have no idea. Anywho, anywho, there we go. I don't know what the hell we're talking about anymore, do we? We're just like... Psh gone right over our heads. Um, Victoria Wacky, how does this work? It just... <laughs> you tell me, love. <laughs> you tell me. Um, how does this work? Just stay where you are. Just enjoy the conversation. We'll have a wee five, ten minutes chin wag before we get started. Then we'll be doing some live uh, readings where it'll just be picking people that are commenting and giving them a reading, answering the questions, seeing who comes forward from the spirit world, and just go for it. That's what we'll be doing in a few minutes. How long? Wait a minute. Let me check my time, and I'll tell you when. Oh, can you get anything to bloody work yet? Yeah, in about three, four minutes' time, we'll be getting started uh, on your live readings, folks. So make sure you're sharing. Get all your wee pals if you've got any. If you've not got any, there's no point in asking them to come in because they'll not hear you. Um, but if you've got any pals, you know, share on your Facebook. Hi, hi. I've not got many pals. Use it all my pals. All 147 of you. 48 of you. Yes, yes, yes. Um... 
I'm going to have a wee drink of jukes, folks. So one second. Oh, you speak to the spirits. Yes, we do. We bring the spirit world forward. We open that door and we get going. Yes. Maria Jose making people happy. That's all about John. I aim to please and I please to aim. Dee 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 dee. Yes, talking to aim, I'm trying to teach my three-year-old to actually pee in the toilet. Um, I've, I'm kind of fed up needing to change my socks every time I go for a loo because he misses the toilet. You know, it's, oh, I tell you, it's no easy. It's no easy, folks. It's really no easy. If anybody, you know, we've even got stickers in the toilet, you know, going doing now you try and hit the sun and the star and the moon. No, it's much more fun if we just take a pee on the floor, Dad. I'm in the toilet. I'm standing next to it. <sighs> Mad. Tony Murray song is the fast food rockers and the fast food song. That's it. The fast food rockers and the fast food song. Deirdre Lennon, poor Erin, sore head. Poor Erin, poor me. She's just as blinking bad. She's just as crazy. She's as crazy as me. Yes, she is. So, folks, I want to tell you all about my ghost hunt. If you've missed it yesterday, Halloween. Who's coming ghost hunting with me on Halloween in Scotland's secret bunker just beside St Andrews? Yes, I'm inviting you all to come along with me. Tickets are only £25. There is literally only a few tickets left. All right. When I went live yesterday, it went pandemonium. So if you want them, there is links in the pinned post here. There's a pinned post on my Facebook page. Make sure you grab them quick. They are only £25. £25. You need to come ghost hunting with me. There is loads going on. Erin's coming as well. It's going to be... It's going to be manic. It's going to be manic. We've got so much happening when we're there. Nine o'clock at night until three o'clock in the morning. Deep underground in the bunker. And I've got to say, that location is one of my favourite. I've been so many times, did so many ghost hunts there, and it is my favourite of all time location. There is people see, people at the last time, or was it the last, last time, I can't even remember which time it was, but they were standing speaking to a gentleman. They turned away for a second and they looked back and he was gone. Then they asked me who he was and I'm like, uh, we're the only people here. This is it. So we did a whole search of the building. We then got a hold of the manager and he's like, there's nobody else here. Um, how spooky. We've had things getting thrown. The equipment goes mental. Ouija boards, people getting touched. You hear banging, screaming, tapping, everything. You need to get your backsides there. You need to get your, no, just your backsides. You need to get your arses there. All right. So join me on Halloween. Get your blinking tickets. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Get your blinking tickets. Right. I think we need to get started on some readings. Okay. We need to get started on some readings. Um, you shouldn't go live on Halloween Ghost Hurt, John. You should go live. We are going to try and go live, but it's underground. You know, there may be some technical issues um, when we go underground. Um, but we have got the cameraman. I've got my old, some of my old team coming with me uh, from when I had my ghost hunting company going. They're coming along. We're going to be filming it. Um, so there'll be loads and loads happening. We are going to try and go live if we possibly can. Um, so, but it would be much better if you were there. It would be much better if you just came along. I'm going to fish you on. <laughs> Come with me, ghost hunting. Yes, yes, yes. Jane Karen. Um, nope, try that again. Karen Jane Dix. Hi, John. First time watching you work. I'm a medium myself. Would love anything from you, South Wales. Pleasure to have you here, sweetheart. Stay exactly where you are. We are going to be opening the spirit door in about two minutes' time. I am just... Oh, pardon me. I'm just, dear me, burping like a wee gadget sitting here, am I? Um, I am going to go and tell you how it's all going to work and we're going to get started. My God, is it me or has it just got really dark in here? Has it? Just got very, very dark in here. So, this is how it's going to work, folks. I'm going to open up my spirit door. I'm going to open up right now. I'm going to be inviting your loved ones to come forward in my little boudoir here and pass on some little mini messages to you. Okay? Um, I'm also going to use 
do some yes no questions with a pendulum and I've got the Halloween tarot deck here as um, oracle cards here as well so we could do some Halloween cards readings of what's coming up the rest of this month beginning of next month just a wee warnings wee directions and what you should be going to we'll also be answering any of your questions so if you've got questions like will I get a new house will I get the job will I get the interview will it ever change is the bugger cheating on me is he not cheating on me is he going to marry me when's he putting a ring on it we'll answer all that as well all right and um, so we're going to do a big round robin of absolutely everything Spirit and psychic questions. Now, if it's somebody from the spirit world you want to come forward, all you've got to do is invite them here by saying, John is my mum, my dad, my grand, my auntie, my uncle. Are they there from the spirit side? If I'm drawn into your name, I will come and I will pass on whatever I'm getting to you. Obviously, if you've asked for your mum and I've had maybe your dad here, then that's just the way it crooky crumbles, okay? But please do invite them forward by saying who you want to come forward. Is it mum, dad, granny, granny, auntie, uncle, whoever? If you've got a yes, no question, pop yes, no and your question and we will use the pendulum to answer it. If you fancy just a couple of wee Halloween cards just to give you a wee bit of guidance on where you should be going, what you need to be doing, just ask for the Halloween cards. If you've got a question, folks, be blunt, be to the point, and that's how it works. Easy as pie. Um, for your comments to show on my screen, you do need to be hitting your share button because as the numbers start to pick up, obviously it gets busier, it's harder for your comments to be shown to me. So as long as you're interacting with all these little love hearts, thumbs, whatever, and you're hitting your share button, Facebook thinks you're a super fan and they'll show your comments more. Make sure you are not commenting the same thing each and every time because it just won't show. Okay, so change it ever so slightly, add a few love hearts, a kiss or whatever on at the end of your message. But always make sure your comment is slightly different. Comprende? Let's get started, folks. Let's get started. Right. Oh. Okay. Right, Lisa McCall, will my boyfriend get offered a house soon? Right, sweetheart, I'm going to connect into the energy psychically here. So this is connecting into my guide. Now, as I'm pulling in and as I'm connecting into my guide here, I feel where I don't want to say this is coming in ASAP. This isn't coming soon as I'm pulled into it, okay? I do get the feeling, yes, there is a house coming forward for him, okay? I do feel most definitely there's something coming in here. I want to say news comes in at the end of December, okay? The end of December sounds like where news comes forward, Tom. However, it's into the new year before I feel a move comes Coming forward and for me it's the beginning of February okay the very last few days of January the beginning of February this is when I see it coming in when I'm connecting into this house as well I feel quite comfortable he's I kind of feel it's not quite what he's looking for but it's sort of right okay it's going to do this is it I'm going for it and he's pushing for it here but I actually feel I'm being really quite happy as he's pulled into it okay I feel a sense of peace as I'm there um, so take the love and I'll say thank you very much take care for now Alison Walsh, Alison Walsh, I've got a lovely gentleman stepping forward here for you, sweetheart. And as this gentleman's coming in, I feel he's about five foot eight in height as he comes forward here. A nice built gentleman. I feel a very quick passing with him. I've got dark coloured eyes, I've got dark hair. Um, I feel a hard working gentleman. I feel a man that could put his hand to anything. I feel he's somebody's head's full of knowledge. I feel if you asked him a question, it's like boom, he knows it. And if he doesn't know it, he'd make it up and you'd believe him anyway. Okay. I feel I need to connect the August month with him because he wants to. To connect with August so it's either his birthday his passing or something very special I do feel this is a dad vibration as he's coming in so I feel it's your dad that I'm connecting with here sweetheart I feel a great sense of humour with him but quite dry I feel you had to sort of understand him you had to get him to sort of laugh with him you know some people would have been mm, is he joking is he laughing is he being serious um, you know that's the kind of sense of humour he had here I feel he's definitely a family man because he just makes me feel whatever he did he was doing for everybody else rather than his own game here okay I also feel I need to connect with four I don't know if he had four kids or there was four of yes but four has to be important with them as he's coming in 
I feel your dad wants to connect in and around yourself, sweetheart. Sweetheart, you've either just smelled his aftershave or his deodorant in the last day, the, the last 24, 48 hours. If you haven't, watch out today because I could, he's making me very much aware of his fragrance coming in and acknowledging to yourself. He's saying you send a lot of messages up to him, so you're always thinking of him, you're always sending those thoughts up to the spirit world, and he's saying he's listening to them. He's telling me that he's trying to guide and direct you at this moment in time because you're feeling a wee bit, you feel like the path you're on at the minute it's just not quite right, okay? That's like something's missing from it. And your dad's coming in, he's saying, I'm keeping you on this, I'm keeping you on the straight, and I'm pushing you forward here, okay? He's saying things are coming to light and things are happening. You're just needing to hold on and have that wee bit of patience for this time being, okay? Please do take your dad's love. Loads of it coming forward from the spirit world. And I will say thank you very much. Take care for now. Mwah! Right, let's have another wee look and see where I'm going. Jody Brown. Jody Brown, may I have a card, John? You most certainly can, sweetheart. We could pull a wee card for you. Um, oh, that's quite um, ironic. There we go. We'll kick that one out. Um, <laughs> Deary me. This is Pish. Why watch? Go on here, Pish. Right. Let's see, Jodie, let's pull a card for you, sweetheart, and see what's happening. Jodie, at this minute in time, I want to say you're stuck in your thoughts, okay? I want to say there's something going on round about you, and you're very much stuck within your thoughts. You're looking back quite a lot at this minute in time. It's like you're trying to make sense of things. You're trying to bring it together. I want to say there is change coming forward to you. very much shown, and I want to say November's going to be a big turnaround for you. It's like things start to fall into place for you, sweetheart, okay? There's answers coming forward to you and I feel you've got questions that you're sending out at the moment but you haven't quite got them, okay, sweetheart? But showing here for the month of November is getting answers and change coming in for you. Two lovely Halloween cards there for you, okay? Um, go stand the mummy. Lovely. Take care, sweetheart. Lots of love. Whoops, sorry, I'm making you all a bit bouncy there. Um... Right, let's carry on, let's carry on. I'm going to have a wee drinky juicy first. Hold on a minute, a minute, a poos. So I'll have a wee drink of juice. If you've just joined in, folks, make sure you're hitting your share button, interacting, and get commenting. Get commenting. Tell me what you want to hear. If it's somebody from the spirit world, just say, John, is my mum, my dad, my gran, my whoever. Are they there? Thank you. Jody Brown, just seen your comment. Ah, oh, thank you, John. You're very welcome, sweetheart. Glad it made sense. Um, if you... If you've got a yes, no question, pop yes, no in your question. We'll answer that for you as well. Or if you've just got a question, just be blunt into it. Just ask. Just be blunt into the point, folks. I'll not be offended. I'm Scottish. Right. Ben Smith. Yes, no. Will my partner manage, manage to get home for Christmas, John? Ben, let's use the pendulum. Pendulum. Sorry. Some people can't kind of pronounce pendulum very well. Um, but let's use the pendulum and see if your partner is going to get home for Christmas. Home for Christmas. Ben, we've got a yes swing coming in here. A yes swing coming in. Now, Ben, as I'm connecting into the vibration of this here, okay, I want to say to you, it's touch and go, you know. And my guy's saying to me, John, it's going to be a close call here, okay. This is sort of last minute, I feel. It's like the last few days coming up to Christmas, I feel, is when um, the return comes in here. So it is very, very close to the bone before it happens. It's like the two years I've given in and said, well, no, it won't be happening. But then, all of a sudden, it changes and it comes forward there okay as i say very very close to to christmas though when it comes in out of the blue and straight in there take the love and i'll say thank you very much take care for now um christine run christine burn burn it burn it i'm coming to yourself sweetheart okay you've just put anyone from spirit for me sweetheart i feel very much that i've got a lady coming forward here i do feel as this lady comes in i want to say it's a sister because she's standing at the side of me so i feel you've got a sister in the spirit world sweetheart okay um as your sister's coming in, I feel she's about five foot six as she pulls into my energy here. I get the feeling that her passing, I want to say she would have passed in hospital conditions and it was very, very peaceful. And I feel that there is a problem in the chest area, okay? I, I actually feel it's something to do with the lungs. I would push the boat out here and say lung cancer. Um, but... I really feel the lungs anywhere are what taking her over, okay? I feel I need to connect January with your sister, sweetheart. It's either her birthday, her passing, but January would be coming.
coming in here. I also get the feeling as I'm connecting into your sister's energy, you are chalk and cheese. It's like you're the calm one and she was the crazy one. Oh, you know, I feel if she had something she wanted to say, something she wanted to do, she didn't hold back about it. She just done it. I feel as she's coming in here, she wears glasses, but I feel they're huge. I feel these huge glasses going on in my face here. Um, Christine, as I'm connecting in. Christine, Christine, hold on. I've just seen your comment. Um, Christine, yes, got a sister in spirit, passed with cancer. Thank you, sweetheart. I said I was putting my cell out on a limb. I wasn't sure about it. Um, but thank you for the confirmation there. I also get the feeling from you, from your sister that I want to connect three. And I feel this three would be connecting to her. She had three children, I feel, sweetheart. Okay. I also get the feeling as I'm pulled into her um, where, you know... Uh, I feel extremely stubborn with her. There's like, there is no telling her whatsoever, sweetheart, okay? There is no telling her. If you said, this is a better way of doing something, she'd be like, no, I'm doing it this way. Simple. That's the way I'm doing it, okay? Um, I feel she's coming in round about you and she's trying to pass this bit of stubbornness to you at the minute, okay, sweetheart? You are no, like a nodding donkey at the moment. You're just agreeing. Whatever anybody says, it's like, yes, okay, yes, okay, yes, okay, okay, I'll do it. And it's like your sister's coming in and and she's pushing your back up and she's saying, no, enough is enough. Uh, Christine, she, uh, she passed in January. Thank you. That's why she gave me January. Um, just take her love. Know that she's in at the back of you there and she's giving you that wee bit of strength. But she wants you to step up. Okay. Take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Mwah. Take care for now. Hoody, booty, booty, boot, boot, boot. What a, what a bra wee day it is. Thank you folks for joining me here. You're here, you're live with me, John Nutjob Sprat Psychic Medium. Okay, and we're doing some live free mini readings. Yes, we are. Um, because that's what we like doing. All you got to do to take part is hit your share button and start commenting like crazy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Make sure you are not commenting the same thing each and every time. You do need to make sure your comments are different so they don't get greyed out and Facebook thinks, ah, they're spamming them. Right, let's see where we are going to next. Caroline Wallace, Caroline Wallace, I want to come to yourself, sweetheart. You know, Caroline, straight away, is a, a, I felt somebody pulling on my ear, okay? And I was like, oh my God, what a pain in the neck. Spirit world pulling on my ears now. And I got drawn right into your name there. I do feel I've got a lady coming through and I've got to say, she likes to be seen, not just heard. It's just coming in here. I've got a what you see is what you got. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing in between. She was purely herself all the time. I I do feel she was a woman who sort of held all her emotions and her feelings. She kept it back and she always had this mask on her face, you know, where, yes, I'm fine, I'm tough, I'm nothing bothering me. I feel very particular with her. I feel I like things to be in its place, not just physical things, but within her own mind. It's like she, her, her mind's like a filing cabinet and everything's filed away really, really nicely as she's coming in here, okay? So I feel she was quite organised as she pulls forward. <laughs> she's saying, well, sometimes. Um, I do feel a sense of humour with her. I feel a very quick passing as she's coming in here as well, okay? I feel this quick passing from her as she connects in. I also get the feeling I'm wanting to connect... Oh, dearie me, she's playing with me. I, I feel I'm wanting to connect uh, the October time with her for some strange reason. So round about this time must be important to her, okay? Because she's just making me aware of this time of the year being important to her in some way. I get the feeling as she connects in, she stands by your side. Now, I don't want to say she is um, a family member, but to me, she's making me feel like a sister, okay? But as I say, I don't feel she is your sister. So it would be an extremely close friend. And we've all got those people, you know, we've all got your mum's pals who we call aunties when they're not really with aunties um, but I feel this close connection with her, do you know what I feel as she's coming in here she is proud of you at this moment in time, she's saying well done I feel you're starting to you're starting to find yourself, you're starting to get your feet on and I feel you're exploring a wee bit more sweetheart, okay, you're starting to sort of say right, okay I can I can do that instead of not, not doing it, no way, not moving 
can't do it, but she's very, very proud of you. She's saying it's taking its time and it's going slowly, but within yourself, you're starting to feel that. She is making me aware of some work there is. To be honest, is there a problem with a door in the house, sweetheart? Because she's saying, well, you get the bloody door fixed. Um, so I feel there's something to do with a door in the house, sweetheart, okay? Please do take the love, know that this lady's in and around you, and I will say thank you very much. Mwah. Take care for now. Right. Uh, where are we going now? Where are we going? War, 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 war. Dear me, I've got a mouth like the bottom of a badger's gauge. Um, Catherine Longdon. Yes, no, will son okay in uni? Um, yes or no, will son be okay in uni? Catherine, I'm going to do that with a pendulum for you one second. Right, Catherine, let's have a wee look. We'll use the pendulum for this and see. Right, Catherine, we've got a yes swing coming in straight away for this, okay? So that's giving me a yes. Now, as I'm connecting into my guide to see where we're going, I want to say your son's your son's a bit, you know, when it comes to change, it's a wee bit like, okay, he shuts himself down a wee bit, he goes into himself, okay? But I actually really feel him coming out. I could see him doing really, really well here. I feel everything's going to fall into place beautifully for him. I could actually see more coming from this as well. Do you know, it's like, it's like it opens him up. Okay, that's probably the best way I could put it here. It's like it opens him up and he starts to sort of see more of himself. He starts to enjoy things a bit more. Okay, take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. <sighs> right, folks, welcome. If you've only just joined me, where the heck have you been? Where have you been? I'm here. I'm live. I am John and I am wanting to do your live readings okay um do 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 caroline wallace i know i just gave you a reading thank you john she was my best friend and um, same surname as mine we used to say we were sisters as we were so alike caroline i am so glad that makes sense to you as i said i knew she wasn't in the family but i had that sister connection with her okay so i'm glad that all made sense thank you remember folks if you get a reading make sure you leave a wee visitors post on my page even if you didn't get a reading and you've just enjoyed my life leave a wee comment and say and if you didn't enjoy it leave one of them and say it was a lot of crap and i'll probably just call your names underneath it like whatever um, so Make sure you do so. Okay. Let's see where we are going to go to next. Sylvia McLean. Sylvia McLean. Um, now, you've put there, is my daughter with you? Um, sweetheart, I'm just connected into my guide now and I'm seeing, you know, as I'm connected into my guide, my guide wants to tell me that your daughter's fine, okay? I really do feel she's fine over there in the spirit world. I want to say I've got some, I feel with your daughter as I'm connecting in here. She's got your smile. She's got, see from here down, from like the mouth down, it's like looking at you, okay? I want to say the eyes, sort of dad's, okay? But from here downwards, it is you as I'm connected into her, okay? I've got a beautiful soul that's just coming in here. I've got that cheeky sort of nature coming in here. And I want to say she's got your sort of sense of humour and your outlook on, on life and things, okay? I feel she's very much got a head put on as she's pulled into my energy here. Um, I feel as she's coming into my energy, I want to bring her in by your side. And you know, I want to bring that child energy to you, sweetheart. I feel there's been... <sighs> It's been a wee bit of crap. It's uh, probably the best word to say to you. It's been a little bit of crap with you um, over the last wee bit, okay? And I feel I'm wanting to put the children energy round about you here to try and lift you up. Sweetheart, have you lost a key in the last few days? I'm aware of a key. If you haven't lost a key, you're just about to lose your keys in the next 24, 48 hours, okay? I want to say a key, not keys. It's a key, okay? So watch for that coming in as well. It won't be missing for long, and I really do feel it turns back up. You know, if it's already missing, it's turning up in the next day. If it's not missing and it goes missing tomorrow, it comes back the following day. Okay, sweetheart? But take the love, and I'll say thank you very much. Mwah. Take care for now. Right, let's see where we are at. Where are we at? Where are we at? You crazy people. Remember, folks, ghost hunt. Yes, I know you all want to join me. I know you all do. Um... 
you need to check out the pinned post here, the pinned post on my page. Get your tickets and join. Join me for a ghost hunt in Scotland's secret bunker on the 2031st. <laughs> the 20? On the 31st of October, Halloween night. It's only £25 for your ticket, folks. Get them bought and get there and join me. Let's have a wee look and see what is going on. Catherine Loveridge. Oh, I like that surname. Loveridge. I would be a good Loveridge. John Loveridge. John Loveridge, psychic medium. I like that. I might change my name. Um, right, I'm going to have a wee look. Um, Oi, Scottish dude. Yes, no, love reading, please. Will I meet a boyfriend soon? With a surname like that, sweetheart, you should have one already. Love Ridge. Right, sweetheart, I'm connecting into your guide and into my guide and I'm seeing what I'm getting for you. And straight away as I'm connecting into you, yes, you are going to be finding uh, love. Not this year though, sweetheart, unfortunately, okay? But I want to say what's left of this year is for you. This is all about you knocking down barriers, you bringing down walls. You quite... You like to protect yourself, okay? And that's good, definitely. But there is walls up around you. There's been a lot of hurt in the past with you. I do feel, though, as we move forward into next year, see the beginning of March for you. This is an exciting time. The beginning of March is when somebody's going to be stepping into your vibration. I want to say, you already know this person, okay? You already know this person. Um, I don't want to say you know about love or if you fancy each other right now, but you do know of this person as I'm connecting in, okay? Now I feel as I'm pulled in here, they're going to, they are a Leo star sign. I've got that Leo vibration coming in here, okay? When March comes along, it comes out of the blue, picks you up by surprise. It will be a long term relationship as well, sweetheart, okay? Take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Um, Sylvia McLean, spot on, John. I lost my sister's key. Had a bad time lately. Sweetheart, that key's showing up. That key is showing up. How bizarre is that? How bizarre. I love when... Do you know, it's not very often I get to see the confirmations coming up the screen. Um, and I try and look out for them. And I've probably missed loads of them. Um, but when I see them, I love getting them back. And that's why I ask you all to leave me a visitor's post. Um... So that I could see them. I love to see them. Um, so always make sure you leave me a visitor's post. Caroline Wallace, you're hilarious, John. You make me laugh so much. No wonder Erin loves you. Lol, you much. Um, love you, fab. I love you too. I love you all. You're all my little sprats. You're all my little spready poos. And you all have to come with me on Halloween. I'll hold your hands, folks. I will. If you're frightened, don't worry, I'll hold your hand, all right? I'll even hug you if you want. I'll even get, I hold your hand and then I'll hold your other hand, all right? It'll be fine, honestly. Just get your tickets and come and join me. As I say, very limited tickets left because a lot of them went uh, last night during the live uh, when it got announced. Right. Let's do another few of your readings. I tell you what, I must be the only medium that does about 101 readings when they go live on Facebook. Um, so, I'm going to itch my ear um, because whoever friend it was that pulled my ear has made it really, really blinking itchy and it's doing my head in. By the way, see if you want tickets for Halloween. Uh, to come along, you could actually save money and get them less for 20, get them for even less than £25. If you've got my app, Go into the VIP section. There's a wee discount code in there. Mm, yeah, I bet that's just teased you to come now, eh? Yeah. Right. Let's have a look. Um, Ashley McLeish. Would love to join, join you Halloween. Think I shit myself as I saw or felt anything. Sweetheart, the two of us can run together. Don't worry, we'll be like the wind. <laughs> Didn't he panic? Didn't he panic? You're in good hands, you'll be with me. Just come. Go on the app, though. Use that discount code and you'll save yourself a few pennies on your ticket. Right. Let's see. Where are we going to go to next? Where are we going to next? Yes. Right. Um... Oh, right, we're going to do a guy now. Richard! Richard, we're coming to you. Richard, we're coming to you. You have seen, uh, John, will I get a new job or is anyone there from that spirit? 
from the spirit. Well, straight away, Richard, as I'm connecting into your vibration, I'm very much aware of a, a gentleman standing at the back of me, and I do feel a dad vibration as he comes in. I feel there's a celebration round about now. There's someone's birthday. If it's not yours, it's someone very, very close to you, like you, um, your mum, your sister, something like that, okay? Brother, um, if it's not yours, because he's coming in and he's having a wee drink, and I feel your dad enjoyed a wee drink every now and then. By no means am I calling him an alcoholic, okay, Richard? Definitely not. But he enjoyed his wee drink, whether it was every Friday and Saturday night, hangover Sunday, but he enjoyed his drink. Now, as your dad's connecting into me, I feel... <laughs> He's got a sense of humour. He's a sense of humour as he comes in. I feel he's about five foot eight as he comes in. He's got a belly on him. He's got a bald head. I feel he's got glasses and I feel false teeth on the top set. I feel I want to put him in his late 50s, okay? Um, in his late 50s when he passed over. And I do feel he would have passed at home, Richard, as he's coming in here because he's making me aware. He had his comforts. He's saying, I had my comforts around me uh, when I passed, all right? I feel as he's connecting in as well that I need to connect um, September with him. So September would mean something to him. It's either his birthday, his passing, or something special happened to him. But the September month would connect to him, Richard, okay? I also get the feeling I've got problems in my stomach with him. This is not how he passed but he had problems with his stomach okay I also feel he suffered a lot from migraines as he connects in here I feel as he's pulling forward work wise work do you know work wise I feel really sporty as I'm pulled in on which is strange because he's telling me he's got a big belly on him um, but I feel do you know it's like he was either a football manager or something like that okay because I just feel like I'm on the sidelines and I'm shouting at people but it's sporty wise okay Richard um, I feel he's coming in round about you at this minute in time Time and he's saying there's still hills to climb. Okay, he's saying you're doing you're do you're doing what you do. You've got your head up high, he's saying, but there's still a wee bit of a hill to climb in front of you there. Okay, but he's extremely proud of the way things are going. Richard, he also wants to acknowledge your washing machines. Sorry, it's either on the blink or it's about to go on the blink. Okay. Um, I feel it's already on the blink, but he's acknowledging it, and I feel this is something that just happened the last sort of forty eight hours. Something happened with the washing machine. It's on the blank. You need a new one. Okay. He's acknowledging that he was in and around at this time as well. And he's saying, please, didn't he touch it? Okay. Um, because I feel you're the type of person like me. If something breaks, let's take it apart. Let's see what's in there. Let's fix it. Uh, but he's saying, please don't touch it. Okay. Richard, take your dad's love. And I'm going to say thank you very much. Take care for now. Mwah. Bless you. Whew. My God, the spirit world is on top for me tonight and they have got me absolutely sweating. So I'm going to fan myself for a minute, folks. I'm going to be my own fan, okay? I'm going to be my own little fan. I'm also going to have a wee drink of juice whilst I fan myself. I'm not going to do both at the same time because I'm a man and I can't multitask. Right, so we're going to carry on. We're going to do some more of your readings, folks. So stay where you are. Get your comments coming in. Make sure you're hitting your share button. Let's all 172 of us hit our share button at the same time. It means your comments are going to show. It means you're in for a chance of getting live reading. So let's go for it. Richard, 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 I've just seen your comment. Hold on. Um, the washing machine, spot on. It was sparking last night. There you go. There you go. Richard, please leave me a visitor's post on my page. Thank you. Um, and thank you for your confirmation there. Brilliant. Brilliant. Ah, right. Where are we going to next? Where are we going? My God, I'm sweating. <laughs> Leanne Shaw, bet your dentist loves you with the amount of coke you drink. It's diet coke. <laughs> it's the doctor that'll not like you when you go with stomach problems. Um, sweetheart, I'm going to give you a couple of cards because I was drawn into your comment. Um, you know, actually, I'm not going to give you a couple of cards. Straight away as I connect into your energy, sweetheart, I get the feeling there's a decision to be made with you. Okay? You're a tour and a fruer. Should I? Shouldn't I? Twos and fruits, Twos and fruits. I feel I'm wanting to say now's the time to make that decision. Now's the time for you to start pushing forward. I want to say you've been looking after everybody else. You make sure everybody else is all right. Okay? And I've got 
got a lovely lady coming in from the spirit world who's saying to me, it's now time for you to look after you. Yes, it's all good looking after everybody, but don't forget about yourself. It's time for you to treat yourself, this lady's telling me. Now, as she's coming in here, she does give me, she gives me that granny vibration, okay? So I feel a grandmother coming in here. And I've got to say, she's somebody that's just, I'm just going to say it as it is, okay? She's also someone that if she wanted your attention, she would get it. She would get it, and she would get it in a matter of seconds, okay? I feel I need to connect the March month with her, so it's important to her, her birthday or her passing, something special happened to her, but it would connect with her in some way as she's coming in here. I feel her passing was very, very peaceful, and I feel she was in hospital conditions. I also get the feeling where I'm starting to struggle to get my words out, and I feel I'm not quite able to remember everything that's going on round about me here, okay? Um, because I'm getting all tongue-tied with myself. I feel as she's coming in though, she wants to send her love forward to you, okay? So please do take her love and I will say thank you very much. Take care for now, sweetheart. Mwah. She had problems with her eyes as well because everything's just gone blurry. I actually feel, and I'm going to go on a limb again. I love going out on a limb, but I actually feel she either had cataracts or glycomy or whatever you call it in one of her eyes, okay? Because one of my eyes feels worse than the other. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Take care. Mwah. Right. Who's ready for Christmas? Do you know me and Erin were sitting last night um, and we said, Erin goes to me, John, do you know what? We've almost got all the kids Christmas all bought. And I was like, what? It's only October. It's not even been Halloween yet. We normally don't even have anything bought until after Halloween. So there you go. We are on the bloody ball this year. We are. We are, we are, we are on the ball this year um, because we're just cool as feck, to be honest. We're cool as feck. Um, so, let's um, carry on. Oh, sorry, Erin's sending me a message. T will be here in five minutes. My curry will be here in five minutes, folks. My curry and a hurry will be here in five. So let's do another another reading, another reading. Uh, Sam well and my mate started to put a tree up. Take it down. Take it down. Just didn't do it. Take that tree down. Don't let her put it up just yet. My golly Rogers. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, Leslie, headaches are mine. Serious. Ah, oh, so we don't like headaches. Don't like headaches. Um <laughs> These are mental. Right, let's do another one, another one, another one, another one. Um, do, 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 do. Samantha Rowe, Samantha Rowe. I'm coming at yourself. Um, now you've got a comment. Where's it gone? Who is it I feel touching me on my shoulders? Anyone for me? Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Sweetheart. Straight away as I'm connecting into your vibration, there's a gentleman steps in. I feel a grandfather energy coming into me here and I feel a bit of a practical joker with him as he's coming in, okay? Because he's just making me feel like, I'll poke her, I'll prod her, I'll do this, I'll do that. I feel this practical joke inside coming in from him here, okay? Now I feel you with your granddad, there's a problem while he's breathing and I feel either asthma or angina because I'm spraying into my mouth here. So he was either had angina or asthma, okay? Not how he passed, definitely not, but I know he had that condition, okay? I also get the feeling where your granddad, as he comes in here, he's a, he's a jack of all trades, but I feel didn't he ask him to sort anything because you wouldn't really want to use it sometimes, okay? You know, I just feel it's a bit like, hmm, okay, thank you. Um, I get the feeling from him there's this big smile on his face. I feel a hard-working gentleman, most definitely. And I feel that he would do anything for anyone. You know, if you asked him for the last 50p, he'd be giving you that last 50 pence, sweetheart. Now, I feel he's coming in round about you. You have got... You've got options round about you at the minute that you, you're not quite seeing clearly, okay? It's like you could... See it's like you're wanting something, it's needing something, and it's around you, okay? But you're not seeing it clearly at the moment because there's so much going on up here that you've not got the chance to push forward. I feel I want to get you outside for a wee moment. I'm wanting to get you sort of having a breath. I'm wanting to get you all sort of relaxed, all calm, take a wee bit of time for yourself. And this is when things will start to open up round about you. I also feel there's words needing said to someone here because I want to sharpen your tongue as well, sweetheart, okay? So there's words needing said. Please do take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. 
Right. Folks, I am going to go and have my curry because I am starving and it will be knocking on the door in just a minute. Once I've had my curry, so in about half an hour, I will be logged into my text and live chat platform. So please do get your texts in, get your live chats in. Um, and we can have your readings. It's all available worldwide. If you are texting, make sure you text the word SPRAT first. S-P-R-A-T-T. -T, then your question. Okay. I love, we've got an angry bird in the house. Wee -wee 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 There's another one. Eee, we've got an angry bird. Hello. You'll be banned in a couple of minutes. <laughs> um... Then I'll be logged into my text platform. It's actually rather... Do you know what? I don't bother with them, but it's just annoying, is it? It's just annoying. <laughs> um, I will be logged into there, folks, doing your readings. Remember, the ghost hunt. If you want your tickets, make sure you get them quick. There is literally only a few left, okay? I cannot stress that there is only a couple left, okay? Um, so make sure you get them. If you want to book readings with myself in advance, you can do that on my website, johnspratt.co.uk. Go to the About John page and click Schedule an Appointment. You will see um, all the prices there, or you could open up the app and you can just book a reading with me there. If you want to use any of my services, the tech service, I will be logged on there in about 30 minutes time um, and I'll be answering your questions. All you got to do is text the word SPRAT and your question, send it off to the numbers, you'll get all the numbers and all the details on the website. If you can't be bothered waiting on text messages to come through, why not have a live chat? Again, I'll be logged on there in about 30 minutes. Go to my website, johnspratt.co.uk, go on to my services and just click live chat. Then you select my profile, send off, and I'll get back to you in a couple of seconds. All right. Easy as pie. All the details for all of them are on the website, folks. If you need to know how to text or how to do the live chat, how to phone, how to get an email reading, it's all over there. The only bit, if you want to book readings with me in advance, you have to go to the About John page to do that. Okay. Um, so, folks, it's been great. Absolutely great. Absolutely wonderful. Remember, phone readings worldwide. Just push the call button on Facebook. I'll take you through to my amazing team who are there ready to chat with you. Apart from that, folks, I am off to eat curry. I will be on my services in 30 minutes. Get your Halloween tickets booked. If you've got the app, check out the VIP section and you can even get a wee discount on your ticket. All right. Get it done. It's in Scotland's secret bunker in Fife. Yes. Just beside uh, St Andrews. Okay. So get those tickets and come ghost hunting with me 9 o'clock at night till 3 o'clock in the morning on Halloween night. <sighs> Hope to see you all then. Folks, take care. Bye-bye.